to connect the S24 Ultra to your PC and fix connection issues, first you'll want to use the cable that came with your S24 Ultra. While some third party cables will work, some don't support data transfer, so if the next steps aren't working, you need to swap out your phone for cable which supports data transfer. Then connect one end of the cable to your phone and the other end to your computer. So let's first of all see if things work fine. If they work fine, you will see allow access to phone data and then you tap on allow and you will see the files inside of the files app. And in this PC, we see the S24 Ultra and its internal storage. If this doesn't work, let's look further. So first, swipe down from the top once and we're going to clear our old notifications. We'll go back to the notification panel and you should see something saying connected to this PC or USB connected, something like this. I see USB for file transfer and whatever you see here, we see tap for other USB options. So tap for other USB options and this may be set to charging phone only. And in that case, it says USB charging. So we need to set this to use USB for transferring files. And you can see the immediate impact. So from charging phone, S24 Ultra, folders empty, transferring files, we'll reopen the files app and it should work. There we go. Now, if this is still not working, remember my message about the cable, but also sometimes the USB ports in your PC won't let you do the data transfer. So swap out the ports. I'm using USB-C to USB-C, maybe try USB-A to USB-C or vice versa. And also, if your port of the S24 Ultra has gotten dirty, then you, what you may want to try is get a brush and just rub it inside the charging port of the S24 Ultra. This won't cause any damage. What this will do is it will remove any lint and any dirt that's built up that's preventing a connection good enough for data transfer to work. So give those all a try and they should all work. But finally, if not working, you'll want to download the Samsung USB phone driver. So just Google Samsung phone USB drivers download here and go to the Samsung developer and just download this driver. And once downloaded, install and restart your computer. Any questions, let me know.